What a beautiful day for racing and what an amazing race I have for you here today. This is part of my quest to become a karting champion. Can I become a karting champion? And this is the grand final of round three of that championship. So it's an eight round championship. This is round three and it's a grand final. I've had two heats already and we now go into the final. There's 14 karts in this race and as you can see, I think I'm pretty much last. If I think I am last here. So we're just going to take it easy at the start. No point trying to do anything stupid. And let's try and pick and choose some positions that are going to recur in the inevitable carnage here of this 19 lap race at Daytona Santa Park in the Sodi Full stroke cart. So here we come into the hairpin. You've got the track mat there on the left hand side. I decide to go for a little cut back here. Are we going to get anyone on the outside? No, we can't. Man's looking at his car, he's not too happy now. I am a heavyweight here, and everyone else in this race is a lightweight. So I'm going to win this race for the heavyweights, and actually pick up a trophy for being the fastest heavyweight, the only heavyweight. But really, we want to see, can we mix it with these lightweight drivers? So on the outside of the guy here with the George Russell helmet, we're in cart number 29. And I have to say, well, let's, let me not preempt it. Let's have a, a look at what happens down the straight. Are we going to be losing a lot of time on the straight to the lightweights? We're losing a bit for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. We're losing a bit, but not that much, at least in the slipstream. We can almost gather it back up in turn one where the weight is a bit of an advantage for us, I'd say. Because the cart really grips in that really fast corner. So we're in last place in 14th, but we're also in first place. But let's just treat it as we're in last place. Can we get any positions here? Can we battle in the midfield? The guy in the yellow cart doesn't look that happy with his chariot as we go through the middle there. So we gain four positions. So we go from P14 to P10. And there'll be some drivers back there who will be facing the wrong way, desperately trying to recover. So there we go. We're in the top 10 now. Can we hold on to a top 10 finish? You, you've got to make your own luck in a way and the other thing to keep an eye on here is the lap time so in the first heat my fastest lap was a 53 3 i think and in the second heat my fast lap was a 53.4 if i remember so the question is here can we do really low 53s or can we get in the 52s around this circuit this configuration in this car because the fastest drivers in this race right at the front the people leading it they are doing low 52s, or they are able to do low 52s. So I kind of need to be in the 52s if we want to be competitive. Now I'm going to give you a, a tour of the track here and we'll try and work out what my car's doing. So we were losing a little bit on the straight, but it doesn't look like a dog. And we're going over a lot more of the curbs now. So we should be gaining some lap times by just using more curbs and uh, taking more optimal lines through the corners. So over the start finish line, we go, there we go, and that was a 53.2, that lap time, which is awesome. And uh, we've got someone up here inside here, so we're going to get back down to 11th. So, 50, in fact, 53.2, what a lap that is. That's already our personal best. Can't be just glossed over that. And uh, we'll see, can we try and hang a little bit with this guy in the yellow helmet who I give him the uh, signal for, let's, let's two of us work together. I think that's a universal signal for that. And uh, can we actually keep up with him or not? He seems to be a little bit unhappy about his cart as uh, the drivers ahead are, are really battling hard. So let's have a look here. So P11 right now out of P14. It's the best we've really been all day. It's been a brutal day. I mean, it's just absolutely bone dry. And I don't have any advantages like you might have in the wet where the cart kind of you know really grips up into um hairpins and stuff like that i just don't have it i'm just carrying a lot of weight but for 3.7 so we that was a bit of a messy lap where we were battling with this guy a little bit but see the two ahead i reckon we are catching them so let's really dig deep here come on this it's not the longest race only a 19 lap race almost already a third through it actually in fact it might be a third through it right now and uh, I would love to just find that little bit more pace. I would love to get in the 52s, for example. If we can get in the 52s, that would be absolutely great. As we go into the big braking zone here, taking a lot more of that curb now. Fantastic. That should be better. 
And uh, can I open up that one a little bit more? And then cut that. But let's see what lap time it's going to be here. What have we got? 53 dead. Almost a 52. Goodness me. that We are smashing lap times now. So we come into turn one. Completely flat, as you can see. As uh, they're chopping and changing up ahead. This is great news for us. Let's keep this pace up. Go into the hairpin now. That's it. Take a bit more of that curb. And then you don't have to um, cut in so much at the end. The guy in the yellow helmet is really going to send that. Ooh, not sure about that move. Um, he's going to have to try and hang it around the outside now or try and do a cutback. This is great news for us. Come on, let's stay in the mix here. 53 deads would probably be big good enough to, to keep up with this pack. In fact, we are catching now. Might get a little bit of slittering benefit down the bat straight. Come on, can't afford any mistakes. These guys are racing at 75 kg. Oh, 52.9. Put that one in the scrapbook. There we go. If you've been following this series, that is the fastest lap of the championship so far. That's a championship best lap time, what you just witnessed there. A 52.9. And we know, we know if we'd be doing 52.9s in the heats, we'd be, we'd be well in the mix. So you can see there's a whole load of carts. Ignore these three, but look at the carts up ahead. There's about seven carts there. In fact, that might be the leader. Goodness me, that's the leader right there. So we're not that far off leader pace, even being a heavyweight. It's been a really sort of like at times painful round this one, round three, just being so sort of closely off the pace, but maybe we can get it done. What's it going to be this time? 53 dead again. Look at those three lap times. I'll take those all day long. That will be very handy indeed. Looks like the three ahead. They might be getting a little bit of safety benefit. Um, but there's so much battling going on in that main pack that they will surely start to lose a lot of time. You only need to be battling a little bit and before you know it, you've lost a whole second off your lap time. I can assure you of that. Maybe coming into this corner a little bit narrow. I can't believe how quickly this race is going. Already lap 9 out of the 19. So we're basically halfway through as uh, the man in the yellow helmet is um, trying to shake something off his glove. It must be. I'm desperately, desperately, desperately trying here to hang on. I can't tell you how hard I'm trying to be smooth. It's a pretty weird thing. Look at the, the weaving up ahead. It's a pretty weird thing because you can't just... If you want to go faster, you can't just start throwing the cart around. You can't just do things harder. You have to do things smoother. So it's a really weird sensation when you sort of like gripping the wheel harder to be smoother. As again, there's some shenanigans here. The guy in the yellow helmet has made it through. And uh, the one in the blue helmet drops off a little bit. Maybe I should be trying to go for the switch in there, but we don't. We stay wide. And you can just hear the chirping on the on the tyres there. As we come into the corner, trying to find the limits of grip. Again, it's like quite a solid, stable cart. Definitely not an oversteery cart. I would say this one. I mean, almost no counter steering going on at all. We're trying to be super smooth. Have a look at my movements on the wheels. We re grip there. Take a load of curb. But that might. Um, I'm not sure why I had my hand up there. It might be into the photographer or something. But. Oh, yeah, that bouncing over the curb. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a 53 T, 53 dead. We've done so. We're definitely in those low 53s now. I'm really, really, really pushing it. Can we maintain this pace? And uh, this is the best we've driven. Oh, championship. Come on. Let's go. And, and we're catching, definitely catching that group ahead. The whole field here might be basically within about seven seconds. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. And remember, if those guys were doing at the front 52, low 52s, you know, they'll be they'll be losing half a second easily battling. So if we can keep going in these low 53s, high 52s, then, you know, that's that's pretty good. We obviously, we, we need a little bit more, but then we come up against the weight. Don't forget about the weight. 53 2, we'll take it. But we're carrying that extra 15 kg and we've seen what it can do down the straight. Although here, I've, I always feel supremely confident going into turn one in the dry in a Sodi car. I just absolutely love that corner. Real commitment corner. Got to pick your line. Feels like a fast corner too. And here I'm just... It's a really good place. See me sort of like stretching my fingers. 
Just getting them ready in case we're going to enter into a dogfight situation. Which maybe we will do. Um, but we're definitely catching those carts at the front. In fact, it looks like it might have broken up a little bit. So a, a pack of three has been spat out of the bat. Remember, there's still three carts behind us, right? Still three carts behind us that we're managing to hold off. So have a look at the shadows and see if you can see any sights around certain corners. Another 53-2. So the consistency over the last seven or so laps has been, been within three tenths which I will take that is that is genuinely I believe quite consistent but you let me know what you think don't let me blow my own trumpet let me know what you think I know you've been rating these videos in the in the comments now they're starting to stretch a little bit further away so I wonder have we made a mistake on this lap because our pace you know but then you add up you add up maybe we've we've lost over the last uh, Lap 9, lap 11, lap 12. We probably lost three laps compared to our absolute potential there. That adds up to a second. And you can imagine if this is probably a... Like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Probably a three-second gap or so. Probably going up by half a second just on this straight alone, I would say. So we need some bad blood. We need some fighting ahead of us. And we need to hang on to this position as well. Well, we don't need to, to be honest. Because we're already the fastest heavyweight. This is more for, for bragging rights and just being able to know that, look, whoever turns up, we're going to be able to, to have a battle here. So come on, come on, come on. Let's see what we can do. The alternative would be to just lose weight. Like if I went back down to 75kg, because I used to wait, I used to race at 75kg and weigh up to 75kg. It's a bit like boxing or UFC where your weight can, your weight class can, can fluctuate. But if I was to go back down to 75kg, oh, I think I would fancy myself to be in and amongst the mix of it. I don't think I'd expect to be on the podium here, but as you're going to see this season, anything can happen. We're going to get faster. And uh, this seems to be a pretty transformational moment and a, a, a pair of 53.1s in the mix. And it's so... On, on one aspect, it's really painful to see these carts just getting a little bit further away. On the other hand, it's so motivating in a positive way to, to be like, look, if we can just gain two, three, four tenths a lap, by, and then you have to break it down, get half a tenth in this corner, get a tenth in that corner, and it all adds up to, to four tenths. We'll be mixing it there, because we've done 15 laps, and it doesn't quite work like this, but let's say that you added four tenths to those 15 laps. You're talking uh, about six seconds, if I'm going to get that right. About, about six seconds? So we'd be, you know, ahead of this pack, even. So definitely time there. You see a couple of carts going around turn one there. So it looks like some people had some really unlucky situations. We're going to persevere. And with the weather in England, you just never know. It could be snowing next time. It could be raining next time. And isn't that a tantalising prospect, racing this group of carts? You can see, I think, there's still the leaders there just approaching the last corner. So we're, we're, we're in the mix. We're in sort of a, a train here that... We perhaps shouldn't be. Well, we're not. No, we're not in the train, are we? We're, we're close to the back of the train. As the photographer there is doing some photographing. I think that's the correct word. And we just dropped off here. You can see it just dropped off a little bit. 53.4 and a 53.5 as they are three laps to go. Or well, now two and a half, maybe two and three quarters, two and two thirds. And I, I might, I might have broken now. I might be like, I just can't quite keep up. I remember in this race really exerting a lot of mental and physical energy to try and do the best possible lines that I thought and stick to them lap after lap. And I remember feeling, wow, I feel super consistent here in terms of my breaking points and so forth. And I think that has been borne out by that period of the race from lap 6 to lap 14. So 8 laps. I'm very, very, very happy with those eight laps. There we go. Smile for the camera. And that's what it looks like when you get snapped. Bringing up the photo here. As you can see, that's me and my blue helmet. 
And I've got the armband on there to signify that I am a heavyweight. So I should not be fighting with lightweights, but I don't care. I'll fight anyone. Here we go, Kartik. That was another 53.5 that lap. So you can see just, I think we've, we've struggled a bit. Someone has spat out the back a little bit. And they are probably about four, five seconds up the road. And, you know, if you're going to lose half a second each lap, voluntarily, unfor unforced error, and over 10 laps, that is five seconds. And, and you can see that the margins here are very, very, very tight. So all credit to Daytona here with the platform of the Sodi carts, which seem to be maintained pretty well. We're in cart number 29 here. Uh, is as you'd expect. And we're going to go on the last lap here. So remember, by the way, to, to rate my race in the comments. This is a difficult one because we did get the personal best of a 52.9. Um, and we are in P11 out of, out of P14. So, but we didn't quite... I'm going to give this one a... I'm going to give it a 6. I mean, but then I'm like, what would I need to do to get a 7 out of 10? You can see there, just a little bit of sort of like calm... Calm, happy frustration, knowing that we were kind of relatively close, but we, we've unfortunately we, we've dropped off. So I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give it a six. If we would, if we were a few seconds close to that pack, I'd give it a seven. I'm going to give myself a six out of ten here. And in this race, we did actually win this trophy here. So you can see this is the trophy that we won for being the fastest heavyweight, uncontested. And we go again for the next round, which is very dramatic. So if it exists, you can see it now. Go and watch it. And if it doesn't exist, watch some of the other ones in this series. I will see you next time.